Okay, finally actually talking about the movie. Well, I've talked about the movie before, but this time I'm actually going to fully discuss it. The last video actually was going to include the perfect video movie, not the SPG4 redesign episode video, but I ended up discussing way more than I wanted to, as I wanted to just mention and talk about the episodes building up to it, rather than just jumping into the movie blind. So I imagine the best place to start was what started the movie's events in the first place. But yeah, I'm Muffy, and then to, to today's video, I'm going to take a look at SMG, the SMG4 movie. It's gotta be perfect. Now, when you buy the Sega Genesis that comes with Sonic 1, you'll get Sonic 2 absolutely free. Sonic 2 handles stubborn stains, embarrassing bald spots, no problem. It even slices and dices, makes thousands of julienne fries. But wait, you can play it too. This free Sonic 2 is a $54.99 value. You get two Sonics for the price of one. Sonic 2 fits easily into any tackle box. Made from a space-age polymer plastic for years of family fun. And pets love it too. Buy the Sega Genesis that comes with Sonic 1 and get Sonic 2 free. Act now. Wiener Dog Sweater sold separately. I don't need to mention too much, since the movie does cover its build up and everything that led to the perfect movie. But let's just quickly mention this. So in Mario Day, the entire episode was about Mario, well, celebrating Mario Day. And he does try to get SMG4 to leave his room, but SMG4 refused to leave his room. So the game gets tempted to get SMG4 to leap, which with either violence Time to empty out of this door! <laughs> or trying to just talk to him. What's wrong, SMG4? Why won't you let us in? Come on. These are your friends. You can't just treat them like this. None of the attempts worked, sadly. I know the live stream occurs at, in this video, but since it's never mentioned again after this episode, I'm going to take it that the live stream isn't canon. I'm pretty sure I already mentioned Asmin G4's freak out and talk about that, so I believe I don't need to bring it up again, but just in case, SMG4 pretty much has a freak out when the internet gets, gets broken and disconnected. And it is incredibly well seen, well done scene that shows just how far his mentality dropped. Great scene. Shut up! Can you all shut up? Look at what you've done! I am dead. celebrate your best friend's day and you're acting like this? None of you understand the work I do! Mamma mia! Just leave me the f alone! Yeah, uh... The last thing that happened before the movie's events occur. Like I said, the live stream isn't getting a pretty sure the last play video that occurred after the live stream also is a canon. So... With all that said, I'm probably just going to go straight and dive straight into the movie. So, with all that out of the way, let's start with what I consider to be the most important part of the movie.
SMG3, 4, and make you the main character. Obviously, SMG3 and Maggie and Mario later on when he comes around are the pro tags while SMG4 is a villain, though he is possessed. And though he is, in fact, possessed, and in the, if you recall in my uh, SMG4 descent from Mr. B's video, I did mention that there's a couple of traps. Yeah. So, my honest opinion about the movie is that it was actually really good. There was a few traps I was worried that the movie would fall into, which I would discuss later. That I was worried this movie would fall in, and this is, I'm gonna go ahead and mention one of them. So, I would consider that the movie would try to absolve SMG4 of all the things he does by saying, by being like, oh, he was possessed. So he did nothing wrong, right? Oh, that. I was possessed by some weird shit. No big deal. And thus, Muppy was absorbed from all her crimes and did not learn anything nor did she have any character growth from this, and everything goes back to square one. In reality, I would feel terrible if I hurt someone while I was possessed. Plus, I think some possessions are written so the character possessed is simply having their feelings put on overdrive, which fits SMG4 in this movie. No, the movie does not do that. Episode 4 does not make any excuses for what happened. They take the full blame for it. Finish this video. <sighs> you should go. What? This is crazy! SMG3, please go. This is entirely my fault, and I'll suffer whatever fate is in my way. I'm really, really happy it went that direction. I'm so glad this movie was like. Yeah, SMG4 might have been possessed, but in a way, he's so responsible for all the shit he's, shit that happens. So, yeah, just good writing, in my opinion. But, despite that, despite Megan Mars' roles, I'm really just gonna focus on 3 and 4. Since the entire movie, I feel like was very focused on the two's friendships. I want to mention that I'm not saying all possessions should be written like this. After all, possessions are acts of taking over someone's mind and it has and has feelings of well being unconsensual. But in this case, MG 4s own jealousy and mentality unstable ability led to this and he has some part of the blame. So please don't take this as an attack on characters who are, who are possessed unwillingly. Following up on that, it's clear that SMG4 played a willing part in everything that happened. He does not get he's not confused. He's not wondering what's going on, and I think that makes it clear SMG4 was at the very least aware of his actions. The possession, more or less, seems to have put SMG4's feelings on overdrive, causing him to act even more irrational and insane over his emotions. This is what I was trying to get at. That SMG4 clearly let his emotions get the better of him and let the possession fuel his anger, leading to all of this. We've seen this behavior from SMG4 before. In SMG4 Goes Insane, a fitting title, he also went crazy due to his own insecurities. 
This movie seems to be carrying forward the established trait of his. SMG3 was also a highlight of this movie. Honestly, my favorite part. It's insane how he went from SMG4 evil doppelganger who had his own arc where he was a villain. Okay, enough! My ears are stinging! Too much seeing, not enough killing! You treat your workers with no respect! You guys don't earn it, last I checked. Ooh, sorry, that's not helping your case. Try again with a little more brain! You promised us wealth and fame! I don't recall making that claim. It's fine, I don't need any of you swine. The power of this remote will be all mine! To be the one to give a moving speech that breaks SMG4 out of his sanity. sanity. He was really humanized in this movie, and I love every bit of it. SMG 3's development from villain to friend is honestly amazing. It doesn't even feel rushed, because even after they start getting friendly, they still have a rivalry. Also, this fucking scene. This scene is the arc of the two finally becoming friends and putting their past bravely behind them and truly, like, it's amazing. Just watch the scene. Uh, what are you thinking? SMG4? Uh, uh, we can make another. Remember what I said? With, with friends. Yeah, even I thought I wasn't going to make it at the end. Eggy and Mario are main characters too, but like I said before, the movie focuses and gives development to the SMG lads. SMG3 finally leaving his bad behavior or evilness behind for SMG4 fully and SMG4 learned to stop being so obsessed with making videos and more focused on positive stuff. Well, oh, well, that's what I took from that anyway. SMG4 apologizes to everyone once again and they head out. Ending the movie. This movie made me love SMG4 more than I already did. He tended to be my top three to four, now he's my top two to even one, and it made me love SMG3 more than I didn't even think possible. And I was like before, Karen used to be my favorite, but now, but now uh, SMG3 takes a spot as my favorite, and this movie only made it more so. simple easy to understand I think starting with this movie SMG4 buys a keyboard off of a website well kind of advertisement through a Bonzi buddy ripoff after going through a ton of keyboards attempting to make his perfect video when he begins to use this keyboard it begins to slowly take him over as he enjoys, like, embraces the power and lets it possess him. Once he is possessed, he begins to take over the entire castle. And Tim needs to make more changes to the SMG4 world. While he hangs up negative comments he received on the wall, he also redesigns Toad and attempts to bring back his and SMG3 recolored designs. Which is funny to me because they were kind of forced to change their designs as a compromise from the lawsuit arc. Or the end of it anyway. 
SMG3, Maggie, and Mario attempt to get SMG4 out and get him to stop. While in the meantime, Chris and Swag try to destroy the castle in order to prevent the, the creature from spreading and pretty much destroying everything in this path. Yeah, uh, there's like two things going on in this movie. Just to give a little attention to it by having Chris and Swag try to destroy the castle despite SMG3 and 4 still being in the castle. Actually, SMG3, 4, Maggie and Mario were also in the castle, but of course that's why I wanted to destroy it, because, well, the castle was going to destroy everything. The creature that took it over was going to destroy it, everything. But, uh, I'm not going to mention most of that, just because it's... I want to talk more about the SMGs and how they affected the movie. I mean, I never claimed for this to be an actual reveal of the movie, just me talking about how I like this movie. However, I feel like there was something I do need to mention that does happen in the movie. So, the movie had advertisement of being something that would change FNG for forever. And yeah, that was the wrong. I thought someone was going to die or something like that, like that, but this is a massive change and I think, yeah, just let me get to it and you'll know how much everything was changed. So, since the cats outside failed to find a way to kill the monster and keep it from taking over the castle, they all decided that, yeah, the best thing to do is just destroy the castle. So that's what happens. The castle is destroyed. Like, permanently destroyed. It's not coming back. So far, we haven't really seen what the new castle will be since they're going to rebuild one apparently. But we haven't seen what it's going to look like. I was expecting to see it in the next episode, but they're still having like FG4 be homeless since he lived in the castle and has nowhere else to go. While well, all the other characters actually had a home. Yes, Mario Luigi actually did not live in the castle either. Only FG4 and Peach lived in the castle. Now with that gone, FG4 had to find a new place to stay until they can build a new castle. So that's still going on at the time we're writing this video and recording. Uh, I'll probably give an update to that when we get more on SMG on the castle, on the new castle. But for now, yeah. So anyway, um, I think I'm just in the video here. I think I'll talk about everything I wanted to. But before I go, one last thing I want to show. So I mentioned humanizing modes of SMG3 earlier, but I didn't put like a, like, that moment where he's being humanized. And I think I'll go put both scenes right here at the end. Just, just to leave it out with that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Also, leave a like and subscribe. SMG4 wrote these. These are all his thoughts. What? No way! How do you know? Because I felt the same way. Do you know what it's like to live with the kind of expectations he has? Well, I had his channel for just a week, and it was the most stressful thing in my life. Having millions of eyes on you. Being worried you'll make one mistake and lose everything. Always having to try and be perfect. It can make you go kind of crazy. Dude, listen to me. I used to think you had it all. Friends, fame, views. I thought you had to be the happiest person in the world. Well, I understand you now. You're really scared, aren't you? You're scared you could lose it all at any time.
because you think you're only worth as much as the stuff you make. But I've met your friends, man. No matter what you make, they, we, will always be here to have fun and laugh together. That's right! You always have us, SMG4! Yeah! You're such a good player! <laughs> SMG4, bro! You're back! <laughs> yeah. You really needed to hear all that. 